April 7th, 2023, I'm taken in spirit and I'm standing above the U.S. on the Canadian border looking at New York City. Then I see coming up from the east a huge light. It resembled five suns. I see it come in to New York City. It made this eerie whoosh sound. And then another came, and then another. I see buildings, and I hear the screams of the people. At the same time, buildings are disintegrated, and where some people are, they are still alive, and I am shown them screaming, barely hanging on alive after this. And then I'm shown a map from the East Coast to New York, where the fallout travels to. Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Then I'm taking immediately to Dallas, Texas. I'm standing in the street in Dallas, Texas. I look to my right, then my left. I'm facing the south. I see a huge fireball, the same as New York, comes up again. Like New York, five times larger than the sun. And I knew these fireballs are beyond a nuclear bomb. Way more severe than the same whoosh sound before. I'm disintegrated. I'm taken again. I'm in Chicago, Illinois, in the city street. Then out of the sky, a regular bomb drops out of the sky. It gave much destruction to the buildings around me in the city. The large whoosh sound comes again and hits then in Chicago. I'm shown a line how far the fallout goes from this. I'm shown the nuclear fallout covers Michigan, half of Pennsylvania, Indiana, Ohio. And then after this, like, um, a couple months ago, the, the Lady Angel said, um, uh, prepare um, America, get food and water. The wave will hit soon. But this is from the nuclear fallout. Look. All that blue is nuclear fallout. It goes halfway up to Michigan, all the way like a little bit below New York, a little bit into New York. And this, and where the black lines are, is where it like. It stops in the bo in the borders. It is strange. The black lines are are from all this uh, earthquakes that come. A little bit. They, there's earthquakes that come. But I was also told to tell you, and I did tell you this before in prior videos. You should have six months of food and water. For when this happens, people are going to starve. There's, they're not going to want to deliver food. And in Dallas, Texas, the blue fallout is here. It goes all that. That's how far the fallout goes. Now think about it, okay? How are they going to get food around to these areas of people? I'm getting these warnings out. If you are not water baptized, you will go to hell point blank. If you are not water baptized, you do not have the Holy Ghost residing within you. And you probably will take the mark of the beast. Your whole faith, oh it's by faith, it's by faith, and it's not by works. The works that were talked about do you understand where the Pharisees telling Jesus he shouldn't be doing works of healing and etc. on the Lord's day. And Jesus told them they were wrong. We are to, this is, how is that a work? It is the will of God. It is the will and righteousness of God so that you can receive the baptism of fire, which is the Holy Ghost that resides in you. Then after he resides in you, you then must break bread to become more alive with Jesus and Father. They will enter you. You can break bread at home. You don't need to go to a church. You are to do this every day. It's what the Bible says. Say the Lord's Prayer over your uh, communion bread. Do you understand? It does everything. And then ask them, I want to break bread with you. Say the Lord's Prayer over it and it will turn in your mouth so you're not doing the sin against the body and blood of Jesus Christ. I do that and had evidence of the Father putting the cinnamon stick taste in my mouth, which if you look in the book of Exodus is part of the holy anointing oil before they anointed in the uh, mercy seat. 
false teachers in, in everyone's viewpoint of, I'm just going to say the communion, or, or I'm just going to say um, the prayer, the sinner's prayer, and I'm saved, and Jesus will enter me. He's not entering you. You're not water baptized. You don't have the Holy Ghost residing in you. Do you understand? You're, you're a dead soul. In the book of Revelation, those are what the demons attack. Because when you receive the Holy Ghost inside of you as a requirement, and actually it's the will of God for you to do this, you lazy people, you know what? They're going to attack all unbaptized people. And I'm telling you, it's going to be a mess. Some people will die. And all the Vicky Parnells, all the Amanda Grace, whoever teaches this and keeps telling to people, and then those people tell to people, when it's Scripture, John chapter 3, verses 3 through 12, I feel like a repetitive type of movie. I am up against false teachers, false prophets that no longer hear from Jesus Christ no more and literally are getting their visions and dreams from Satan like Vicki Parnell. I'm about to do another one on her. It's a joke. But John chapter 3 verses 3 through 12 Jesus' own words. And then I have someone, well, what about the thief on the cross? The thief on the cross was baptized. The proof was him entering heaven because of John chapter 3, verses 3 through 12. The only thing that was wrong with that situation, he didn't ask for forgiveness to God from his sin or repent before he was killed on that cross. Do you understand? Keep following the false teachers. And like Jesus said, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. I was told when you're in a concentration camp, the only thing left that you will have is spit and tears to baptize people with. And when you have all that is left is your spit and tears, you put them on a person and you say, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I'm telling you, Vicki Parnell, that's almost like a borderline blasphemy. I don't even know. I'm asking God, is that blasphemy? When you are rejecting the Holy Ghost from entering you, and when you stand on Judgment Day, you're thrown into hell, that is a blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. What person who claims to love Jesus Christ and doesn't follow his own wording to be water baptized? It's not a work. Jesus talks about works all the time that we as Christians have to do. You are lazy Christians and will not read Scripture.